those two. Hi guys, this is your boy Martin and today another very fast, hopefully very fast installation video. Uh, recently it's a winter time and I was looking at my bike and uh, one thing that starts to piss me off and I didn't have time before to do it are these two frame caps on my bike because everything is yellow and, and black and only those two things are what it is, grey. So uh, what I will do, I will fix it. We have of course a solution for that very popular item on our shop. Uh, those are the frame caps and high quality uh, air, airplane aluminium. So, uh, and we will be replacing them. Uh, it's a plug and play installation, but I'll show it to you like how to do it. And actually, what are the other options where you can have this, this kind of design and what else you can do with these frame caps. Now guys, first 500 views, no video ads on YouTube. No bullshit around, straight to the point, and enough of this. Let's get started. All right, so what you have actually in the box, how to do the installation and what it can bring you. Well, the, the, the most what it can bring you, it's uh, of course, difference in look. Don't expect like handing upgrade or, you know, whatever. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's obvious. Now, uh, this one you will have four frame caps because you have two on this side, two on the other one. Uh, one is like this, like regular frame cap. And the other one has a patent like, like this. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, and it's shaped at the back like this. The, the reason for that is because, and I'm getting to the point, like how you, else you can use the frame caps is that here, on the bottom and I will do a separate video about it. Uh, that one that has the special patent goes on the bottom because you can use a third pack. So of course we have it on martindevlogger.com slash shop that option that you can use either with the with these frame caps um, or without them you can use this bolt as your third pack option. All right so uh, and what else comes in the box of course you have four screws and surprise you need a uh, hex eight just to remove it and put it back on and the options that we have I will I'm going with this let's call it well let's call it black black on black but we have also the accent cut that is basically powder coated um, aluminium in black put it on a mill again to create that shiny effect so it's up to you but my bike it's mostly black, so I'll just go, I will not go crazy. So just the black, it will look awesome. Now, undoing the bolts, don't be surprised if it will go a little bit harder or you will hear some strange noises. It's because uh, Canon likes to use uh, a lot of, lot of Loctite. And uh, when you will be placing back the, the new bolts, eh, it's actually up to you. If you want to use the Loctite or not, uh, I'm not really a Loctite dude. So I'm putting this one in, not this one with that special patent. So this one goes in. Beautiful. Longer bolt. This one is stuck. This one is the longer one. And Now the question is, how tight? Well, as tight as, you know, so your, dome, your bike will not fall apart. That's the only advice I would say. So tight. Now before you will move to the bottom frame cap, uh, we have replaced a longer bolt, one of those four that are coming in the packaging, uh, with the bolt in here. So once you install this one, you will have one extra bolt. Reuse that top bolt and mount it together with the bottom frame, okay? Don't use the extra long that it's in the packaging. I believe that's for third pack, okay? Now, there is a tiny thing in there, like something like a pin. So, um, but I think it's quite obvious how to put it in. 
also the shape is like this so it fits absolutely perfectly and you put the belt bolt back in and you're good to go so at the end of your installation if you will do all the four caps you will have these two tiny screws left with you so you will reuse this bolt to put it in here also with the bottom um, frame cap my advice is to put uh, a hand in here because this frame has a tendency to go a little bit down you might raise it a little and you might actually you know put the screw under the angle it's not like really like straight so you don't want to do that so put a little bit of finger here uh, tighten it and uh, then you're all good to go and yeah that, that those are the old tips I have for you before I will get to the final words about the frame caps I'll use this video to tell you a little bit about this many people do ask me like what I have here uh, I have black it's called frame protector you can find it on on my website uh, on the if you click on the f3 model and there are frame protectors and we have it in black and we have it in uh like what it is like transparent and i use it because <laughs> i have beautiful long legs and simply i like to ride like this so when i'm braking i have my foot on a frame and i have noticed that i was really scratching a lot uh, my frame and also during the rainy days uh, my foot has had tendency to slip so this is like anti-slippery thing uh, one company in the UK is making it for us I think I'm the only one who's really selling them and it's our it was one of our very first products so this way I can very easy break and keep my foot on a frame so as I said black or transparent and I think it's just like 25 bucks or 25 euros, something like that. This is it. I mean, it looks beautiful of course my bike is dirty don't worry about it it will fit more this is fresh color so but it, it's just it's just epic and uh, literally it creates a smile on my face because again i have something new on the on the beast 85,000 kilometers what else i have to say but uh they look epic now what you can do and if you go on the martindevlogger.com shop you will click on the f3 icon because they will fit to all f3 models f3 basic f3 s f3 tier and f3 limited uh, you can choose this one as i said or the the accent cut uh, you can go with the with the handlebars so end caps here with the same design you can have the uh not fuel cap but fuel cap it's something similar but you can have also the ips key so and we sell it as a bundle so under the frame caps, you can find all of those. Uh, later on in the spring, we will get the rear axle caps as well. They are already ordered. So guys, this is pretty much it. No rocket science, super simple installation. And stay tuned on more videos because I will do the, the third pack for ya and we'll be throwing more installation videos. Guys, thank you very much for watching. By the way, in case you want, uh, don't watch only on YouTube, go to the martindevlogger.com, so my, really my blog, because you have time frames there, you can register. Time frames means uh, you can click on a part of the video, only watch that, so let's say how to remove frame caps or how to install them back. Uh, or basically you can become a member and see like always you will be notified. I'm trying to do one video a week, so always you will be notified what the hell I'm working on. Guys, enough of this. Thank you very much for watching and remember visit all of my websites martindevlogger.com martindevlogger shop tourzone3.com and always have fun <laughs>